Got a rod in there. It's still a nice bird to see. We're just halfway down Blade and Burn, and this is part of the old industrial works from the where they had all the mines years ago. There's a lot of bits of these old ruins left in here, but they're, they're ideal for the wildlife. You can actually see the Blade and Burn, the old lane, the old path and that down there. It's a nice place to come in the summer. Lots of footpaths and wildlife to see. We're just a bit further down Blade and Burn here. And we're just up on the top of the path. There's a nice little pond just in front of us. So I've just got the camera out on the ready just to see if we can catch anything on the water before we scare it away. But the, it looks like this has actually been cleaned out a bit compared to what it was. Water, hen. Just the them reeds, how are they? Um, I'm looking somewhere. In the front or the back? Read at the back. Kind in the middle. It's at the back now, it's swimming up, it's behind them now, so it's going to be hard to see when you look through. Oh, I am trying to, I'm trying to look through the viewfinder at the same time. It's went into them reeds at the side now, so it'll be hard to see. The worst thing about these little ponds, uh, you get wildlife on them, but they're, they're very quick to do a run on when you get anywhere near them. They're quick to get out of the way, all the little birds and animals. I'm going to have a quick look, see if I can see any frogs in here. Frogs, newts, toads, tadpoles, any frog spawn, anything. Quite deep in places. You can hear the seagulls, yeah, you'd think we're at the coast, but there's a tip just over the road. You get all the seagulls scavenging. I cannot see anything in the pond in the water. A few goldfinches there, flying over. I'm going to have a walk around the other side, see if I can see anything, because I think the pond goes right round. On the back there. A little robin just flew past us there. I've seen lo lots of robins this year. Just, just up there, I've just seen it was either the water hen, the moor hen, or the coot. I just went in behind them and reeds. Let's see if it comes back out. Be a bit shaky when I'm zoomed in, so I'll zoom back out for now until I see it. There's a lot of birds seen around here. It's a nice place. Now that in the distance sounds like a reed bunting as well. Never heard one of them for a while. No, it's not. I thought it was. I might be wrong. 
because the red bunting sounds a little bit like a yellow one. Ah, there's a there's the quarry can or the water hand. It's got some reeds in its mouth there. Yeah. It's got some reeds in its mouth. It must be building a nest somewhere. I see a bit up there, but I could hardly. Ah, it's coming back down. I, mean, I didn't see much, but it was in the reeds. And then. I can hardly see through this viewfinder on the camera. No, it's just the reflection of the water and the sun on it and everything. The water hens build a few nests and they'll use one of them. That's I can hardly see it on this viewfinder on the camera. I'm thinking I'm looking at it, I'm just not sure. I'm sure that sounds like a a reed bunting up there. It's up and then willow across the other side of the water. Now oh, there's a magpie shouting there. It's actually in the nest, I think. You can see there's a big, big dome-shaped twig nest. Magpies. Be nice to see it jump out or jump in. Cool, just flying over. Hope oh, that's the magpie's nest, anyways. And then you can hear it. More hens still over there. I'm not sure what sort of pictures I'm going to be getting because it's getting a lot of reflection on the viewfinder on the camera. Little Ren gun mental behind us. Seagulls. Scavenging as usual. Hundreds of them. That's because of the tip over there. Nice to see little places like this. Some type of scrapyard in the distance there, just in front of her. It's either a scrapyard or a workplace, I think. I'm not really sure. Up 
back on the pond again, same place as I got a minute ago. And I've just been around the top and back, and like I said, there's a couple of mallards, I must have been hiding in the brambles. And we've walked around that way and come back this way. I must have scared them from up the top part. But like the water guns are run a bit at the top, and that's where they must have been. And the swam down to this part. As you can see, they look nice. There's Paramount there. Something in the middle of the stream. This is 20, 30 yards, but I'm not sure what it is. I can't make it look properly. Can you make it loose? Um, no. I've just I... seen a goldfinch fly past the tree oh, right. just above oh, the ground. Oh, the finches are there. But I don't know what that is sitting there. It looks a bit dark for a mile or something, though, doesn't it? And is it's it, not. Is it definitely an animal, or is it it, just. Its head's turning. No, I can see its head turning. I'm just not quite sure what it is. To get run we might just scare it. Aye, its head's turned, it's moved again. But it looks like it's half, half submerged. I'll tell you what I'll wipe on the top to see if it... See if it moves. Aye, and I'll, I'll stand here with the camera on it. I'll try and balance the camera on the wall. So I'm not shaking all over the place. But when it's on zoom, it just shakes all over. It's moving. He's only about 10 foot away from it. Aye. It's a stone. <laughs> it looked like it was moving. It's a stone. It must be the reflections on the water, like, and it's like... Hey. <laughs> Just there in that hole there. It's a little bit hard to see. But there is a blackbird's nest in it. We've actually seen the bird flying as we came past. We're walking up the path here. And it's got a couple of eggs in it. It hasn't started incubating them yet. But this is where it is. I'll zoom out and let you just to give the full picture. And we're still down Blade and Burn, it's the old industrial line way. It's a nice day. But as you can see that's that's where it is. People pass it every day so it's it's not like we're disturbing it or not. That's it just nicely in the middle you can see the wall. Still nice to see. We're going to come back next week and wait, we'll give it at least five or six days just to save the bird. Because we'll, we'll see its head sticking out the front of the nest. I'm smoking a tarp as you can hear. I'm, I'm, a, bit, I'm a bit knackered. I've been all the way through these woods. But there you go. Blackbird's nest. <laughs>